2015, now five years ago, Pope Francis wrote an encyclical, Laudato Si, on care for our common home. Since then, it has had a tremendous impact all over the world, among believers and among those who do not believe. Everybody now is concerned and aware of the challenges, the grave challenges on climate change, which are ahead of us. It's really worthwhile reading this encyclical. It's the first time that the Pope wrote an entire letter on the subject of ecology. If you don't have time during the holidays to read, to read it all, well, here I have four thoughts for you, which the Pope provoked in my mind. First, Pope Francis calls for an ecological conversion. A complete way of changing the patterns of our consumption, a change of organizing our society, changing our ways of life, an ecological conversion. Climate change requires a change of attitude within ourselves. No technological invention can make us, which makes us use less plastic, waste less food, will help us if we do not change ourselves as human beings. Change for the better, that is. And faith and spirituality will help us in this regard. For this ecological conversion, we need a better worldview, a more constructive image of the world. Pope Francis, he uses the image of our common home. Indeed, we share this world as a house with so many creatures. We are connected to them, connected to them. We are dependent on them. We humans are not like kings with certain privileges completely set apart. Yet, we treat the world as a grocery store where we can take what we want and where we use the air as a dustbin and the sea as a sewer. No wonder that the climate is reaction, uh, that the climate is reacting. Global warming. It seems that the world is has a fever, that it is sick. So let us then stop hurting these relationships, destroying ecosystems like the Amazon. It's not for nothing that I wear this T-shirt of Brazil, Majes Brazil, in 2013. It's in solidarity with the rainforest and all the peoples who live there. No, let us appreciate the beauty and the diversity of all that is created by God. All this diversity which He blessed. Thirdly, we share this common home with the poor. The Pope is very insistent on this. We must not forget the poor. He calls for a solidarity. A global solidarity. The poor are the first victims of climate change. And ecological action is not only there for the rich. All need to be on board. If we, the happy few, cannot convince the majority of the world to adopt ecological changes, then no change will endure. And a society which is helpful to the poor, the Pope, the Pope says, will be more inclined to changes for a better climate. Whatever steps you take towards ecological action, do it in consolation. Let your ecological action draw you closer to God. If you feel the desire to act, maybe you should, but do it with kindness and hope, with a deep love and admiration for all living creatures of a common home. Go and find out how a simpler lifestyle can give you deep joy. Become a minimistic in awe for this common home God has given us. So with these four thoughts, I hope to have convinced you that Laudato Si is a document worthwhile reading. Especially the first and the last chapter. They are the most beautiful ones, I think. For this online Majus, I also propose a meditation, take some time for it, to pray. 
Thank you for watching and be my Jesus.